La Llorona. We all know the tale. We've all seen the movie. Yep, you know they're you know they're in Mexico. You know they're in Mexico. That's a car, right? Yeah. Fuck that! I could not! Oh, there's somebody on top of their car? I can barely... Oh, what the fuck? Brother. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, the way it's laughing too? But is it holding an actual? What the hell is it holding? Man, how you gonna let this bitch get on the hood of your car? You're bare. He said you're barefoot, Naomi. Oh, man. You know when they start saying the Our Father, that shit is real. Tell me, what do you think? Was that real? That shit was pretty creepy. The way it was moving and then the sounds it was making. You got a lot of crazy shit going down in Mexico. Mexico. Mommy. Yeah. You're what? Oh, fuck. Let's go inside right now. She caught her spider head? Hey, I would be running. What is that? Let's though? go inside right now. Let's go inside right now. That kid was so calm. Look at my friend, Spiderhead. Fuck out of here making friends like that. Do not approach this creature when visiting Japan. They are known as Kotengu. They resemble large birds of prey with unsettling human-like features. These creatures have little respect for humans and delight in tormenting Man, them boy, in that's somebody in a ways. fucking costume. Are you kidding me right Their now? Their cruel games include abducting hell people here. only to drop them from great heights deep into the woods or tying children to the tops of trees, leaving them to scream in terror where no one can reach them. Is this actually a thing? They even kidnap people, forcing them to endure unspeakable horrors until they Ew, lose Ew, why are their eyes like that? Ew. They especially enjoy acts of sacrilege, tormenting monks and nuns, robbing temples, and attempting to seduce the clergy. I mean, I could be wrong, but I've never seen something like that before. Lives, they occasionally never. Band together or join forces with other That's like a fucking cryptid or something. They are hoarders and prone to throwing violent tantrums, going on destructive rampages, and taking out their fury on anything nearby. I literally just sit down. What are you seeing there, buddy? Nope, can't see it yet. Wait, hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Why are you going to go outside to get a better view? Are you crazy? Bro, these guys, that, that's how you die. 
in a scary movie. You go and investigate something stupid instead of staying inside. Yeah, it is a dark figure. Boy, get your back, get your ass back inside the house. Man, that's not a ghost. That's somebody who wants to rob your ass. Oh, you're dumb. You're dumb. That's enough exploring. What the? Fearless warrior, ready to fight the water god who appears to him to scare him away, but fearless. The water god. I almost thought that was blood coming out of that drain. What the fuck? This dude tried to pull out his pull out his web, like it was Spider Man. What the fuck? Yeah, you're using the wrong kind of superpowers, brother. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. You ain't got those superpowers. You're not even wearing a costume. <laughs> I don't even know what he saw. I couldn't even see it. Oh, there it is. There's a slow motion. Oh, damn. What the fuck? For some mysterious reason, there's something really strange going on with the rain, and there are several videos from all over the world of people capturing what looks Did like I just fish see coming down with the rain, or what they're calling fish as falling the from the sky. Rain. This, for instance, is one of the videos coming in from Venezuela just a couple of weeks ago. Check this out. Well, I ain't never seen something like this before. In this particular video, a woman seems to be freaking out about the amount of fish that's falling down with the rain for some mysterious reason in Venezuela. What the hell? How in the hell does that happen? Video, a woman notices a bizarre insect inside of one of the rain droplets. The video was posted by Storm Outdoors. Also coming in from Venezuela, loads of people have been noticing what looks like this black goo in the rain. Check this out. Man, what is going on in Venezuela? What is going on in Venezuela? And what the hell is your ass walking in that deep ass water for? What? Always trying to mess with me. Somebody trying to mess with me? What store are you at, dude? He's at like a Sears or like a oh. JC. Whoa. Oh, shit. He felt something touch him on the back. Most definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't no. want to work at a place that it's only me at nighttime, you know? Hell no. Hell. I need co workers amongst me. He about to replay the footage. Look, there I am right there. Damn, he's got that replay on. Look, you see that? You see Whoa, that? yeah, we saw it. We saw it. <laughs> uh, uh. I told you something to touch him. It like lifted his hair up or something. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Zoomed in and slowed down, you can see his hair being pulled. Yo, that is wild. You know, that's not the first time it happened to him. Oh, gosh. What the frick is going on? Hey, I don't like. 
I don't like the way this looks. Got some type of a cult over here. Outside of like a chapel or something. Holy shit. There's a whole bunch of witches. Right in front of the witch's tomb. Did he just say witch's tomb? You gotta get out of there. They're casting spells right on you right now. How much more is over there, but I'm not going over there. The most recent entry stated that when the guests arrived that night, the historical beauty of the house translated to haunted and slightly creepy. Not to mention there is an old person a group of videographers in the cupboard and an antique music box. It's worth noting that the house is a 1700s colonial house with a disappointment room. In 1700s, damn. So naturally, it could give off an old eerie vibe. But it's not until the next set of guests decide to stay at the Airbnb for five nights that things start to get creepy. Yeah, even the After furniture, they stay, dude. They said that on the even the furniture is the creepy. Nights, they heard strange noises coming from the locked attic door. After hearing this, the owner decides to set up cameras in the attic and spend the week alone inside the Airbnb to see if anything strange happens. I don't think we need a whole week night, she hears to something confirm something like that. Grabs her phone to record. Give me like one or two nights. Matches. Promise you, you'll see some action. All week to try and debunk some of the weird things happening. Had no issues until the night. We decided to move the attic camera into a different area. And how much are you charging for this Airbnb? Better be the cheapest one in the area. Crazy. Gonna put this on the market for people to stay at. And this house just gives me all these bad vibes. I don't like it. I don't like it. I could not stay here. This whole time I'm getting it ring notifications that there is motion in my attic and mind you we moved the camera to the small room off of the attic so like the timing right now is a little crazy oh my gosh do i see like a oh no that's her reflection oh boy i almost lost my shit <laughs> that was her reflection that's the attic that looks like a fucking torture room. Like a place that you keep somebody hostage. The door can be seen moving by itself and the owner even says that there was no wind whatsoever. But even on a windy day, it wouldn't move that much. But the creepiest thing about this, which was pointed out in the comments by nearly everyone, is that there appears to be a creepy face in the bottom of the door when it opens. Uh, what let's looks see. Like a face can be seen, and you can even see the bottom of its nah, mouth. Nah, that doesn't look like a before face. Before it fades into the darkness behind really? the door. Because of this, many people believe this 1700s historic house is haunted. Perhaps someone lost their life in the disappointment. Or let me know what you. Or think. you got somebody living in there that you don't know of. People be doing that shit. People be doing that shit. It's crazy. They be living in the attic or the basement, and the owners don't even know. This is why you shouldn't play games with it. Then. A man named Yera from Mexico explains that ever since Yera. he played a game called Baby Blue Blue Baby alone in the mirror, something attached. Baby itself. Blue Blue Baby. That is the first time I heard of this game. So you rock it back and forth. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. One night, as Jed is closing shift with another Ugh. co-worker, he turns off services for the night. But as he does, whatever's following him... Baby blue, blue baby. Baby blue, blue baby. Okay, now I'm getting myself scared. Now I'm getting myself scared for no reason. They turn everything off from a dark room. The phone begins to ring as if something's luring him to go downstairs. Oh, 
Brother, what is going on over here? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, hell no. What in the fuck is going on? Is that water? Was he in the water? That looks like water. Can't really tell. It's too gray, too darked out. But it looks like he was fishing or something. Hey, do you work on the plane? How are you just on an empty plane like this? Do you work on the plane? No. Dumb enough to lift those shades up because I got my flash on here. They gonna catch my ass if they see. What the hell is he doing on a plane? He stayed back. This guy's crazy. He stayed back on the airplane. People love the auto. It's mad cold in here, and it's dark. I mean, I know it doesn't look that dark on the camera, but it's dark. I don't know how he Let's managed to go. stay back. Let's go. Look how excited he is. <laughs> right. So. Uh, sitting on the back of the plane. Y'all probably think I'm insane. say. Probably think I'm doing this for fame. Oh, you done ran out of lives, brother. Yup. Yup. How did he manage to stay in the in the back of the plane? Without any of the attendants seeing him. That's crazy. Alright, we're at uh, Subway at Memorial Hospital. This video of a video he yeah, caught of a ghost of ghost child running with the cafeteria Maybe Memorial we'll Hospital. Capture a ghost. It's a ghost of a little girl. Jason Crumby. Oh my god, there she was. I don't know about that, Jason. The following video is from a woman named Hammerlin. And what I can tell you is this is not police emergency vehicles. These are not firefighters. These are not EMTs. It's truly an unidentified object. She captured the back of her home. The interesting part about this is when you watch the video, the sound that emits from it. It's not a normal vehicle sound. I have no what information kind of for you on where this was flash taken, of a light is that how it happened it's literally left up to you to wonder on what's going on here i can tell you that this was posted on june 25th 2024. we're at she though has not posted anything else nor has she commented or explained what's going on it's almost as she's gone dark they got her they Take got her this video and tell me the feds like, got her they took her thing. away the men in black. Looks like it's raining outside. That's like, man, what could that be? For real, what could that be? We just gotta know what's on the other side of those trees. What is on the other side of those trees? Alan Valois posted, posted his baby cam footage of a ghost pushing the, pushing his son's head back. Then the strange orb fly out of the crib. You got a ghost bullying your son? Yo, he, he rocked his shit backwards. <laughs> Fuck. You okay, kid? Dust yourself off. Get your ass up. He's like, no, no, no. Got him all fucked up. I saw the orb. His head pushed back hard. Yeah, it did. My boys got concussed. On May 30th of 2020, TikTok user Lissy posted this creepy video. Rando nodding. Her and her friend were using Randonautica 
and it took them to a bunch of abandoned buildings. That's the second time and I think I heard of that something that they can't word and phrase. And according to her, I forgot what it means. The that Ren gave her were not near a church, and there were no people around. But definitely go check out her page. Randonautica. What do you think? And it took us to this really creepy. Random creepy. Oh, so it's like random, <laughs> creepy like exploration, adventure type things. Man, show me where you at. Like this is a ritual. They said random apartments, huh? This is not a game. This is when we get murdered. That's when you turn around and go back home. It isn't often the case that a ghost takes on the form of an actual human body. Rarely do we see videos of such mm. spirits. We usually hear about them in stories or personal experiences. Yeah. But this next video might be actual proof of a ghost manifesting Where? itself as a living, breathing entity. Oh, Check what it out. The fuck? It's pretty creepy. It did do. I could see it moving in the background. Is that a face? It looks like a face. Oh shit. Hey, you got somebody in your closet. Stop dancing. Tommy Otto Orange, Fuck. the person recording this, was dancing in her bedroom when out of nowhere, an apparition of what appears to be a girl manifests itself right hey, that's behind more her. than an apparition, bro. Maybe this entity wanted that to That is more than an apparition. And it could only do so through the lens of a camera. As for some reason, cameras can detect what the human eye can't. Of course, this is merely a theory. But I'd be interested in hearing what your thoughts are on this. Oh, man. That one video of the La Llorona. I, I don't know what to believe on that one. It seems so real because of the people's reactions, the ones that were recording it. And the sounds and the way it looked, too. I know the, I know the legend. I know the stories around it. But you guys let me know down in the comments what you thought could be the realest clip out of all of those videos. If you guys did enjoy my reactions, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new here, don't forget to sub for more future content and hope to catch you on the next one.